Dr. Boyle, uh, can you take a couple of minutes and talk to us about your current organizational uh, program focus? Sure, happy to. I'm from the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities at the CDC, and our center really works on advancing the health and well-being of some of our nation's most vulnerable populations. That's pregnant women, infants and young children, uh, people with disabilities and blood dis disorders across the lifespan. And in our work, we work with a number of partners, including AMCHIP uh, and our federal partners, uh, PERSA, and their Title V programs, and, and really addressing the needs and uh, the health needs of those vulnerable populations. Um, you may not know this, but our center actually started a decade ago, so we're celebrating our 10th anniversary, which we've uh, coined 10 years of service. And in that, in, in that time, this is really a time of reflection for us, so in that time of reflection, we've uh, identified some priorities for our center and moving forward into the next decade. And I'm going to take a few minutes just to highlight those. In the area of autism, we're working with our state partners to enhance their capacity to monitor the prevalence of autism and get a better understanding of uh, why the prevalence of autism is increasing. In the area of uh, birth defects, um, we're working to prevent congenital heart defects and other serious um, heart def excuse me other serious birth defects due to maternal risk factors. Um, in the area of alcohol and, and uh, cigarette smoking, um, again these are intractable problems in the U.S. and we're really working to um, uh, help and empower women to uh, uh, minimize those exposures in pregnancies. Also importantly, we're continuing our work on folic acid uh, preventable neural tube defects, spina bifida, and anencephaly. So we're working again nationally um, and beginning a, a global effort uh, in uh, the elimination of neural tube defects. We're uh, trying to enhance our programs in newborn screening, particularly our data systems that ensure long-term follow-up uh, for children who are identified for, for with hearing loss and, and other problems um, in the newborn period. We're trying to close the 30-year gap in life expectancy for people with sickle cell disease. And finally, we're increasing, or we're trying to reduce the, the um, increased morbidity and mortality uh, among women who have bleeding disorders, a very calm, common condition in women and very serious in pregnancy. Thank you, Dr. Boyle. Um, with all that work to do, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that you face right now. I heard you say Title V, that's probably one of them. Yes, well, I think the biggest challenge, and I think you just uh, you just made allusion to that, is uh, the, the challenge of funding. Um, this is, we are in especially difficult times, and I think we are all being asked to do more um, with a lot less resources. So it's, you know, for us as a center, and I think working with our partners and MCHB, as well as with AMTRIP and Title V, is really trying to um, identify those priorities where we can really have health impact. We want to make sure that in, this, in, the, in these lean budget times, that maternal and child health programs um, uh, are given the same consideration of other important health uh, programs and we all recognize that many chronic diseases start early, many of them start um, in pregnancy, um, and so that having an important grounding in health early on um, really will help uh, us uh, in terms of that lifespan issue. Okay, great. Great. Any uh, suggestions that you can give to the AMCHIP members as how they can better help you succeed in your work? Well, I mean, and CHIP's cri critical for us to, for taking our science um, and really helping with the translation. Um, so the, to me, uh, AMCHIP and the leadership in AMCHIP, and as well as the members of AMCHIP, are really the boots on the ground um, to get us to better understand what the priorities are at the local level, and also really helping us once we are there, uh, or once we have a program in place, and really evaluating what its effectiveness is. Is it working the way we think it's working, and really helping us um, direct better those, those scant resources, and sort of redirect the, uh, issues if, in fact, uh, what we're, we think we're doing is not working well. So we're delighted to be able to be a, uh, an active partner both with AMCHIP as well as the Title V programs. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Boyle.